Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we've got a whole bunch of information to talk about. We've got our first official leaks from the set, including photos of Midvale High School and some different stuff that's going to be going down in supposedly Episode 5, as far as I know. But it may be an earlier episode because they haven't actually been filming for that long. However, I believe they're probably going at a faster pace due to them actually coming back in January and probably going to revisit some of those episodes with Melissa returning. So for now, I think they're shooting as much as they can. And according to IMDb, this is episode 5. But I could be wrong about this and IMDb could be wrong. So take that with a grain of salt in terms of the episode number. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So yeah, we've got our first set leaks for Kyla Lee's episode that she's directing this season and Supergirl. We've got two major returning characters, that being Young Kara and young Alex played by Olivia Nakanan and Isabella Vidovic. We've been waiting for this mid episode for a long time and it would seem right considering that Melissa is away that they would go back to mid because you know they can make use of the Kara character without Melissa and then Melissa when she comes back she can add in you know a few more scenes in the future into this episode so this makes total sense and so we're going to talk about this and all the leaks today. But first off, I want to talk about that Nick guy who I mentioned recently wasn't cast as anyone big. Well, I can officially announce to you guys that he is literally playing a bartender. He's playing just a bartender. It's a tiny role. He was there for like a day or two filming and then he rapped and he literally went away. So he is playing a tiny role. All the speculation obviously was big because it was our first Supergirl casting that we found out about. But yeah. He overhyped it and he's just a bartender, however people online have been speculating since we announced that it was a bartender that he is a mixologist and if you guys remember that, what does that mean? Could he be something more than just a normal bartender? Is he Kara and mon son from the future who is also a mixologist? Interesting, let me know your thoughts below. But yeah, so that is a kind of big announcement because people have been speculating online but in the scope of things, not very big. Let's move on to the next bit and so yeah, Supergirl was spotted filming outside and inside on location in Vancouver. So they took over a university or a school, apparently it's called UBC campus. Again, I don't live there. I don't know what UBC campus is. I'm presuming it's a university or something. And so they took over it and they rebranded it and they made it look like Midvale High School. So we're going back to that point where we've seen before, we had the Midvale episode before and it's official. Isabella Vidovic and Olivia Nakanan are back and they are filming in this episode that Kyla Lee is directing herself her first directorial episode so that's really fun but you know the big thing is young Alex and Kara what is going to be happening so it seems like we are going back to Midvale going back to the past this is going to be a flashback episode we will see them at their high school as you can see on the screen right now they rebranded it Midvale High School and if you recall, we have been here before. They had that gym scene that was pretty funny a while back in the original Midvale first episode when we saw the new version of Kara and also Alex. So there were some photos that I'm going to be including in the video that were outside and, you know, you could see the set design and, you know, everything was rebranded. However, no one actually got a photo, as far as I know, of the cast. But Iridescent Annie can confirm that on the Supergirl set, they saw Jesse, Nicole, and two girls. The two girls, obviously, is Isabella Vidovic and Olivia Nakanan. So, Jesse and Nicole are somehow there. So, that is very interesting. How are they there back when, you know, you had young Alex and Kara? What is going on here? Is this some sort of time travel plot? This doesn't really make that much sense, but it's a very interesting update because unless they were just there to support Kyla whilst directing, it seems a bit weird that this kind of Danvers-centric episode is in fact including Nicole and Jesse, so Brainy and Nia, in the past. So something fishy is definitely going on 
And so my speculation is some sort of time travel, or maybe they're looking back at past events. Somehow they are brought along to see their past. Maybe that is the case, but as of right now. So leave your speculation in the comments down below. So let's move on to the next few things. So yeah, we got some photos. There is the Midvale High School thing. And you got the Stallions, so maybe there is a baseball kind of game that's going on. And maybe there is some cheerleading, there is the game going on, and I reckon, you know, they shot some stuff outside, and then they shot some stuff inside, because they rebranded the whole outside Midvale High School, and I presume they're going to do what they did before, when you had them actually going inside, and I presume they actually filmed inside this very same college or university or high school, whatever it is. And it's interesting to note that, you know, maybe Midvale College and Midvale High School is in fact like part of the same thing or are they skipping through time because at one point you see one of the buildings branded Midvale College and you see one of the other buildings branded Midvale High School so are they on the same sort of campus or are they split up or are they going and jumping around time and that's how Jesse and Nicole can be included in this kind of flashback episode. So yeah, I can't wait for this Danvers centric episode. I always loved them and we've been hoping for this for a very, very long time, so it's really exciting stuff, especially coming from Kyla Lee. Okay, so the other thing I want to talk about is this. To do with Superman Lois, there is going to be some filming next Wednesday, December 9th, so in four days, and there is going to be a scene that they're going to shoot where Superman is going to be crashing into a storefront. So be on lookout for Wednesday, because I believe that will be the first day that we're going to see our first official look at Superman's new suit. Obviously, I don't know if they're gonna release some sort of poster online. Obviously, we've seen the Superman suit on the set, but it's gonna be another look at it, and so I think that's very exciting, and we can see another angle, perhaps, of him flying into this, you know, shop or whatever it is, and maybe with this being public, and, you know, when Canada Grass first posted those photos, we were expecting Warner Brothers to come out, like, pretty soon after and release a first look at the suit like they did for Batwoman, because they released an image online in response to there being leaks about the suit. So, I'm wondering, will we get the official reveal just before this films? I would just say, be on the lookout for now, and, yeah, I can't wait to see if we actually get to see that. And so let's move on to the last thing, this is that a new DC Comics show has been picked up by the CW and it's been developed, but it is not in fact being developed by Greg Berlanti, it's being developed by Ava DuVernay and Jill Blankenship, a writer on Arrow. So that's a big name right there, and then also you've got Jill, which, you know, links to the Arrowverse, but it's interesting that Greg isn't actually attached to this, but I think that's mainly because Ava's so involved and it's her production company and everything but they're just putting it on the CW. And so this TV show is called Naomi. Interesting that it's just a name. And this kind of follows a trend we've seen recently with, you know, Wonder Girl being announced and Yara Flora is gonna be the main character. And at the time of that announcement, we'd never seen that character in the comics. Like it's a new character that they just made. And Naomi is pretty recent as well. So it seems like maybe the CW is kind of vying for characters that are less known and they can just basically, you know, create their backstories and everything like that and they can start from scratch with the shows. So I'm looking forward to this. So it's being ran by Ava DuVernay. Obviously she is doing the New Gods film for DC in the future and hopefully that comes pretty soon because I'm looking forward to that. And it seems like she's teaming up with the Arrow writer Jill Blankenship, which I think is of note because she was actually set to be the showrunner, I believe, for Green Arrow and the Canaries or someone really involved in Green Arrow and the Canaries. So does this again signal that Green Arrow and the Canaries is dead because she's gonna be a showrunner on the show, she's gonna be a big part. So it seems like pretty much that project is dead in the wind. It doesn't look like that's going anywhere else considering all of these new shows being announced and especially this with one of the people who was set to be, you know, kind of leading the show. So yeah, tell me what do you think about all of this in the comments down below. I know it's quite a few things that we talked about, but hopefully it was informative and you guys are up to date. I'm looking forward to our first look at Supergirl, hopefully in the next few days. We're going to be getting some on-set photos where we'll get to see our characters. Obviously, we won't see Melissa until January at least, but maybe we get to see some of our other characters 
So for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.